Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Wizard 101 for old folks. So this time around, we wanted to talk a little bit about the new pets, the Maycast talents, and the tokens that come along with that, how you get the pets, where you find the pets, how you incorporate the talents, and what these tokens are and what they're used for. So we have to back way up. Now this is mainly going to be for your newer wizards. The brand new wizards that haven't made it to Old Town yet are the ones that are going to automatically get one of these pets that have the Maycast talents. Um, also, when you level up to level 48, you'll also get pets that have the Maycast talent on those, supposedly. I don't have a level 48 wizard at this time to be able to see if it works for mine or not. But that's what everybody has been saying, is that those pets also have the Maycast talents. When you get past that, your next pet that you get, I believe, is like level 78 or so. Eventually, I expect most all of the school pets will end up with the Maycast talents. Now, if your wizards are already advanced past this point, then what will happen is um, you will have to go to this kiosk, the pet hatching kiosk, like the one behind me here at the pet pavilion, and you will have to find pets that have the Maycast talent with them listed as one of their talents and then hatch with those. Now let me show you this pet a little bit. This is the Catter Squall and this is its Maycast talent. It has the Storm Assist and all it really does, it's kind of like a wand hit. Uh, it will cost you happiness but you will tell it to hit as you pick your spells out and then you'll pick your spell and when your turn comes next your spell will go first and then the pet will do his spell so you could put like a blade on you and then tell your pet to do this storm assist and it would run and um, hit the person what would be good would be like if they had, if the boss had a shield on, this would be good to have because then your pet could take that shield off, that sort of thing. All of the lower level wizards in each of the different classes get this type of talent, but you can only have either, um, you can only have up to one combat talent and then one of the talents that are the adventure talents where the pet will go collect a gold chest um, or a reagent collector, that sort of thing. What's nice about the gold chest is if it goes to collect a gold chest and it's a pet doing it instead of your wizard doing it, according to KI, you're actually supposed to be getting an additional bonus with that. But, like I said before, um, there are drawbacks. <laughs> and the way to get this particular pet is, as a young wizard, you would go to meet Sergeant Muldoon in Old Town for the first time, and he would give you a quest um, he'll tell you to go down to this tower and you meet this little pet in front of the tower. The pet is given to you. The pet is given to you. You equip it and you go into the tower where you meet Penny Dreadful. You follow the quest line that Penny Dreadful gives you. You'll fight a skeleton being. You'll go collect a key, um, uh, you'll turn into your pet to get the key, and then you'll turn into your pet again to talk to some other animals, to be able to open a combination lock, and you'll save all the pets, and then Penny Dreadful says she'll take all the pets back to the pet pavilion, 
and she'll meet you out front of Merle Ambrose's house, which sets you up later on to be able to uh, meet with her for later quest. Anyway, so now you have this pet, and it has leveled up to teen when you come out of there, because pets now get XP for doing fights with you. So that's a neat thing. You can actually level your pets up as you go through. Also, you can use um, your new advantage of going to the different games and being able to level them up quicker through the games. So that helps too. But like I said, you'd have to hatch with one that has a May cast after that. Now, once you have the pet, in order to use the May cast, you have to feed the pet and give him happiness points. So you'll click here, bring up your pet snacks, and if you um, hover your mouse over the top of these snacks, it'll show you how much happiness you can get for each one of these. So usually your snacks that are not high enough to help your pet get raised up very quickly but are too high to sell at the bazaar, those are the perfect ones to feed to your pet for happiness points because it takes those happiness points to be able to cast those spells. Now, you know, you also use happiness for other reasons as well. Um, mainly you would use the happiness points for um, turning into your pet to be able to do the pet quest. Now, if you click the button down here with the little arrow, that's how you turn into your pet so that you can run around as your pet and see things from your pet's point of view. Now the whole point to this is not just wasted time or whatever. When you first start all of this, you come see Milo Barker over here. And Mr. Barker has your first pet quest for you. And he sends you around Wizard City um, to find different dirt mounds. Um, and you would collect the metal rings from those mounds. And eventually they are planning on adding in different quests for your pet to do that you would earn rewards for doing those quests as well. Now, whew. Just because you get a pet that has a may cast talent does not necessarily mean you can automatically use that talent right away. That's the next thing that comes in. They are called tokens or reagents that will activate those talents. Now some of the talents uh, are automatically activated and you can use them right away. I would imagine these would be the talents like May Cast Vampire, May Cast Faint Spell. The higher up type of ones will require tokens and talents to activate them as well. Now you're going to find those here uh, listed among the regular talents. That's one of the issues that so many people have is, you know, if you're working on getting a critical pet set up where it's all critical, and you have to give up one or two of those slots for the May cast talent, um, it's a little disappointing because you're not going to have the stats that you might have gotten in those places instead. And so there are a lot of people that are a little disappointed about that. They feel like the May cast talents should be, uh, or the will cast talents should be like the May cast talents and be in a category of their own. That being said, I will say that they did add in extra things that if you train your pet all the way up to Ultra, you will be getting extra reagents and, and rare tokens and things to activate these talents. So look for the um, will cast talents and look for the little box that shows you how to open up those will cast talents so that you can activate that talent on that pet. And it takes a lot sometimes. Um, some of these higher up spells takes 
up to 30 to 40 of these tokens to do. So you may have to hoard them for a while uh, before you can activate those pets. But once you get it activated and you get to using these talents, I'm hoping you have a lot of fun with it. And I certainly hope you try out all the different talents that you can just for no other reason than you could have a really good time doing it. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. If you have any questions or concerns about the wheel cat talents and tokens, be sure you drop them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. In the meantime, I hope you have a lot of fun playing Wizard 101, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.